Time to play with some play. It's another day, and uh, I did some research on the uh, fur on the uh, fetlocks, and uh, I wasn't wrong. Not all Mustangs had it, but uh, some did. Uh, in fact, I've got a photograph right here of a uh, Indian pony that, if I was to sculpt this pony the way it looked, <coughs> I'd never sell bronze. <laughs> It was an ugly damn pony, but I bet that thing was a good horse. Just really, really, really ugly. So I'm gonna do the uh, back legs here in about a second. I'm just uh, putting just a few more hairs back here. And the only reason I'm doing that <clears throat> is because part of the armature is showing and I need to cover it up. This clay is very stiff, so I've added clay on top of it to get kind of soften it up a little bit because uh of a long period of sitting it the oils in the plastiline clay do evaporate from the clay now i could use a heat gun to revitalize the uh, old clay but uh i don't want to do that for me to work on that leg on this side, I'm going to have to remove her off board and Now, I'm not as worried about this side of the horse's leg because it's going to be mostly covered by her anyway. But I still want to get it as best I can.
I think uh, tomorrow what I'll do is tilt the clay so I can work underneath the horse. Can't do that today. I've got no time for it. Okay, for this next step, I need to put a glove on, latex glove, to protect my hands from lighter fluid. I, you know, I could do it without the gloves, but I figure after a few years of using this stuff, it might, might have an effect on my body. And I just soon not have an effect on my body if I can avoid it. Okay, I got my ramekin filled with a little bit of uh, lighter fluid, and uh, let's see, what did I do with my brush? There it is. And I'm going to, this is the last step today, because I, after I do this, I can't. do anything else on this. I'm just going to go ahead and soften up the clay a little bit ahead of time. And then I'm going to take a small green Brillo that you can get at any grocery store and that will literally help me smooth out the clay a little bit take care of any heavy duty scratches or dents hopefully the clay is kind of old so i'm not sure it's going to work perfectly i can already see it working though Anytime you're using chemicals of any kind, it's best to protect yourself the best you can. That's my theory. work on the neck and shoulders when I get done sculpting those again. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, and uh, I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.